Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about ESX file names. Oftentimes, when you're dragging and dropping an ESX file into Xactimate, it works just fine, but occasionally you'll come up with an error where it says invalid, failed, something like that. I can't speak universally to how to fix that on every single estimate, but what I do know is more often than not, it's related to the file name itself. So I have here two estimates on my desktop. One is exact text. It's a typical estimate that I usually work in to shoot these videos. The other one is named an estimate name that is super long and really too long for Xactimate. So if I were to import over exact text, it brings up this window in a separate where it says succeeded. Everything works well. But if I were to drag over an estimate name that is super long and really too long for Xactimate, it shows me this. Failed. Invalid. Now note that it doesn't give me invalid name. That's not an invalid name for what it is. You can use those underscores and things like that, but it's just showing that it's too long. So if I were to close that and change it to an estimate name, you can drag and drop it over successfully. Now when you pull an estimate out of Xactimate and drag it onto your desktop, for example, it'll have a bunch of squiggly lines and extra words and names and things like that. It's usually a good idea to delete those as a best practice or something along those lines uh, so that you can shorten the name for either yourself, if you're sending it to somebody so they can drag it over without any issues. You're just getting ahead of, ahead of all these potential file name issues where the name is really too long. So the next time that you have an estimate fail when you're trying to bring it over, double check it, see how long that name is, potentially see if you can shorten it up and drag and drop it into your exact name. This has been another exact hack. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next Thursday.